After months of political upheaval, Ukraine is now gearing up to vote for its new president. The clear frontrunner, a billionaire tycoon known as the Chocolate King. Petro Poroshenko made a name for himself in the confectionery business, owning what's now Ukraine's largest candy company. His net worth is estimated at $1.3 billion. But he's no oligarch, at least not in the conventional sense of the word. New Republic's Linda Kinsler writes, Poroshenko's wealth is mostly self-made, an important if slight distinction in a country where oligarchic corruption is endemic. Russia has since seized accounts of his chocolate business, which Poroshenko says is proof he's on the right track politically. And he's no stranger to politics. He fashions himself as a veteran politician, seeking to repair ties with Russia, but also work toward European integration. Poroshenko emerged as a key leader in the protests that toppled Viktor Yanukovych, Ukraine's former pro-Russian president run out of office in February. I think this is one of the most uh, prominent events I ever seen in my life. Poroshenko says he will never accept Russia's annexation of Crimea, a sentiment shared by many in Ukraine's European-leaning West. Also likely to go over well with Western voters is this widely circulated video from March showing him being chased by a mob of pro-Russian militiamen in Crimea. Radio Free Europe Radio Liberty describes the scene as perhaps the high point of Poroshenko's performance in the latest political crisis. Question now is, how will the Western-backed candidate fare with voters in Ukraine's Russian-speaking East? Christian Science Monitor reports Poroshenko has a reputation for paying high wages to his workers. That could bode well for Eastern voters who are nostalgic for the days when heavy industry workers were rewarded as heroes of the Soviet Union. Poroshenko is running against former Ukrainian Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko, and the two have a history. He actually helped bring her to power during Ukraine's Orange Revolution in 2004 and went on to serve as her foreign minister. The latest polling shows Poroshenko ahead with 38 percent of the vote and Tymoshenko trailing with 6 percent. But it's not a done deal yet. Some 25 percent of voters remain undecided. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.